Hi, I'm Daphne, AE at Lucia, and today we're going to talk about how to turn coaching into ka -ching with your SDR team. The economic downturn means that companies are focusing on leads at the bottom of the funnel, at the expense of the top of the funnel. There are significant implications behind this, but here's what you really need to think about. Coaching your SDRs to be their best with opportunities and leads they have today. Moving down the funnel. Companies use to prioritize volume, but it's tough to proof ROI using that strategy. On the other hand, bosses like a sure thing. Countless companies are currently doubling down on their sales teams, but their approach needs to change to align with the current climate. Making sales, even near the bottom of the funnel, isn't like picking up the phone to call an Uber. There are only so many hours in the day and leads in the pipeline, and your team needs to make the most of them. The wheat and the chaff. Start with figuring out what's working right now, and that means looking at the individual and their performance data. How do you do this? Discuss the techniques which gave that person their highest success rates. If it's cold calling that's doing well, find out where the hitches are. Use data for all your channels. That analysis will help to discover the most productive KPIs. You can examine email opens, responses, and closure rates. Do some A-B testing with different messaging styles, subject lines, and CTAs. Keep playing with it until you see incremental improvements. Don't forget that your input as a manager always counts, even for your top sellers. Best practices also still count, even if the formula needs to be adjusted to individual SDRs. The 80-20 rule. Next, deal with the chaff. Different things work for different reps, like emails, LinkedIn messaging, or social outreach based on an event or similar happening. Devote at least a bit of time to investigate why some of your people don't seem to get far with traditional channels. Ask your SDRs, what are your target companies? How do they make their money? Who are the decision makers? Are you multi-threading different decision makers or just reaching out to one person? If you find some flaws in their overall strategy, encourage that SDR to spend some time each day working to improve. Working behind the scenes. There's no question that times are tough, but improving employee retention initiatives, encouraging focus, and boosting motivation are just some of the steps that promote success for SDRs. As a manager, you should ensure that your people are taken care of. Talking to HR or the execs is part of it. Becoming a thought leader in your space is also a good move. But one factor which is often overlooked is measurement. If your company doesn't have a way to accurately assess the productivity of your team, then make sure they find one. Justifying your sales strategy through cold, hard facts will be all the rage this winter. Key takeaways. The current business climate is leading SDRs to concentrate efforts near the bottom of the funnel. It's essential for sales managers to coach their teams in finding outbound methods that suit them individually while still working to improve standard approaches. Managers should use data to justify their ideas and work behind the scenes to support their people. Good luck. <laughs>